welcome back to my channel long time no see before we get started i wanted to let you know that i am so sorry that there are ads playing before this i only have the ad sense thing on for the uh, pop-up bar at the bottom of the screen that you can click away i don't do any non-skippable ads or video ads so if you're seeing them they are from youtube and not put in by me just wanted to let you know i'm all about keeping this simple and sweet speaking of simple and sweet let's just go into goblin core how chaotic and lovely the whole niche world of goblin core is we're talking lots of earth tones lots of green you want some comfortable shoes that you could go walking through the woods in for hours and hours at a time we're talking plants we're talking bugs we're talking frogs and so today i wanted to bring you several fun little gift ideas and decor ideas for you the goblin or the goblin in your life so without further ado let's get started so the first thing i want Wanted to talk about is this cute little teacup the reason i wanted to start off with this is to let you all know that you can find a ton of amazing pieces at thrift stores or secondhand shops or even garage sales and swap meets I wanted to talk about teacups because you can find so many vintage teacups all over the place and I think that if you have like a fun pop of color with some foliage, they're great for either drinking or, you know, putting dirt and a random plant that they decide to save. I don't know. Let your goblin decide. But I think vintage teacups, super cute, super fun, and you can find them pretty much everywhere. Go save a teacup. Go find a thrift store. The next thing that I have is kind of expensive, but the only reason I wanted to put it on here right now is because they do have a deal going on if you're looking for a specific gift idea but this is a terrarium and I think it's beautiful because it's blown to fit on a piece of wood so each one is different I bought this as a vase I wanted to put some short stems in there but I haven't actually put anything in it yet because it looks too beautiful and I don't want to cover it up it is a little more expensive but if you're looking for a great gift idea I think that this is one of them speaking of plants one of the things that our goblins love to do is propagate plants steal plants do whatever they can bring the forest inside with them so I think that this is a fun little setup that is easy cheap and just really cute so do with that what you will <laughs> and this is another one of them these are actually quite a bit smaller than I was thinking which I thought I was gonna be annoyed with but I actually love it I think that they're super cute and I actually have basil plants in there right now you can actually grow basil just uh, with the trimmings and they'll root and then they'll they'll be fine so I just think that this is a really cute also clever way to display your plants the next thing that I have and you can for sure find this at a thrift store in fact I really encourage you to because it's probably gonna be beat up and dented and super cute is a bread box I think a lot of our goblins will either be using a bread box to store homemade fresh bread we might be edging into cottage core territory here or they might use the bread box to store a bunch of their random little things but you can't go wrong with gifting your goblin a box of some kind I put this one up here just because I thought it was really cute but I also wanted to put it as a reminder that you will probably find these all over the place in different thrift stores and whatnot so go ahead and be on the lookout for those and would it be a goblin core haul if we didn't talk about spoons this is also another thing that you can be finding at thrift stores unique little spoons perfect gift idea because they're either going to be using it to dig around in the ground looking for mushrooms or cool rocks or whatever they'll probably just have it in their pocket for an emergency teaspoon whatever the case is if you have a very cute eclectic and just niche type of spoon you're gonna make your goblin super happy the next thing that i have are these corduroy pants they're cropped they're comfortable and they're amazing i cannot get enough of these they are incredible i do feel like i am part of the frog and toad universe when i put these on and i think that is the whole point of them there's a couple of colors but you cannot go wrong with brown and the other thing that i have is this beautiful v-neck sweater vest and this is also on here to remind you that you will be finding these in thrift stores i promise look in the men's section they are there the slouchier the better we're talking layers our goblins are going out rain or shine so we want to allow them to uh, bundle up and you can't go wrong with a sweater vest the next thing that i wanted to talk about are books specifically old antique books or ones with like a bot botanical motif and you do not need to get these on amazon please don't i just put them on here as a reminder to check your thrift stores you are going to find tons of them because even if they don't read the books they might rip out the pages to either you know start a fire watch them or just to have as fun unique prints crafts all types of thing but you can find lots of old books at 
thrift stores, Goodwill. Don't forget to check out the Reader Digest compilations. Those are great as well. And the next thing is just this awesome, really cute, dainty earring cuff. Hello, it's a frog. Cannot go wrong with frogs. You'll be seeing a lot of frogs in this. I think it's really cute, really easy to put on, comfortable. I want to say I have average size ears, but who knows? What is the average size ear? Someone let me know. And now we have some fun things from Etsy. I love Etsy, especially for the holidays. I do recommend that you guys start picking up stuff from Etsy sooner than later because shipping times can be delayed from these small businesses, so give them ample time. But I think that these little fairy doors are so much fun. You can put them up really anywhere in your house and they just add such a cute little atmospheric vibe all over. So you've got like this little ladder and then you've got a couple of different sizes, but I think that these are just so much fun. I love it. I think your goblin will too. Also, one thing that's amazing on Etsy is this eclectic mix of jewelry, specifically some statement rings and some statement pieces. I think Etsy is a great place to find one of a kind jewelry and your goblin is sure to love something fun and interesting from a unique seller. Speaking of unique, I cannot get these dragonfly earrings out of my mind. I got them for my sister and I want to get a pair for myself. I'm not a super big fan of dangly earrings, but these aren't actually that big and they just look so beautiful. They almost look like feathers, but they, they, they don't, not enough that you're forced to kind of do a double take and look at them. I think that these are really, really beautiful. You can select a couple of different colors. I did the pink. I think the blue would be cool, but I, I fell in love with the pink and I want to get another set for myself. Speaking of earrings, I thought just a cute little Monstera earring piece would be awesome. It's such a great price for what you get. They're enamel, like a pin, they're lightweight, they're comfortable, and I love the hoops that they used for the earring piece itself. It just creates this like very homemade feel and I really like that. The next thing that I have is going to be used for a lot of the other things I have on this list, uh, and that is a mister, a plant mister. I think that these are super fun. I have not found any at thrift stores, but I wouldn't be surprised if you hunted around and were able to find something like this. I also saw that some people use old perfume bottles, recycled perfume bottles. Not sure how to do that, but if you could figure that out more power to you. And the reason I mentioned the mister is because I have some fun plants. Did you know that you can buy live plants from Etsy? I didn't and this opened a whole new world or a whole new world of issues for me because I can't stop. I love this type of plant. I've always called it a pancake plant, but uh, hello, it's so cute, amazing. It, it's packaged really well. It's wrapped in some damp newspaper to take care of the roots and whatnot, and your job is just to transplant it. And these are super hardy plants. I just put it in a little pot with some fertilizer next to the window, and it is thriving. The next thing that I have is this Venus flytrap. I think that these are so creepy, so weird, and I had to have one, so I bought it from this seller. I love it. They only have one available left is what they said, but they had that last time I purchased it, so I don't know what the deal is with that, but there are a lot of other options out there as well on Etsy itself, so if you can't find this particular seller, I know that there are other ways to get Venus flytrap plants, but trust me when I say your goblin is going to love this. And would it be a goblin core haul if we didn't have a fun little uh, tote bag? Absolutely not. Specifically a hand painted frog tote bag. Are you kidding me? I love this. I don't know how well it would do in the wash since I haven't washed it yet. So just be aware of that. But I love how cute this piece is. It is a piece of art that I get to carry around with myself. And honestly, if this isn't your cup of tea, you can find a tote bag like this um, at really any craft store, maybe even on Amazon. Paint it yourself. Your goblin will love a piece of homemade art from you that they get to carry around and put their random sticks and jars of dirt in and whatever else they want. Love it. Love it. And the next thing I have is this lucky little tree frog. I have no use for this. I have no idea why it's on the list other than the fact that it is absolutely adorable and it is going to make your goblin smile. I guarantee that they will never lose this cute little frog, even though it is probably one of the first things they should lose, but they won't because it's going to just be with them the whole time because it's lucky. They're not going to lose something lucky. I just think that it's so cute and so adorable. Again, 
No idea what the use is for this other than to pass a little bit of luck. And the final thing that I have on my list, which is a little weird, but hear me out, is this lotion bar. But this lotion bar is specifically targeted to be bug repellent. I think that it is amazing because it is non-toxic, it is zero waste, and it has like the citronella aspect to it. So give it to your little goblin, they can put it in their tote bag, but if ever they're out, you know, picnicking or foraging or whatever the heck that they're doing, especially in these like, uh, wet months with the mosquitoes and and just gnats and gross stuff let them use this little lotion bar on their hands and arms and it should help keep the crazy bugs at bay if not it just smells good so there's that and that's all i have for you i just wanted to let you know that i do have two videos coming up they're gift recommendations for dark academia and goblin core everything will be under 25 us dollars and i will be putting those out as soon as possible so you can get ready for the holidays. Again, thank you so much for watching. Okay, bye!